Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading. You are the chosen one and what that means for you, we're gonna figure out together. So I have prepared three different piles here with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. And we're also gonna use different tarot decks in each of the piles. So pile one, we're gonna use the Astral Matrix Tarot. And this is the sun card from that deck. Pile two, we're gonna use the classical tarot. And this is the star from that deck. In pile three, we're gonna use tarot of the owls. And this is the moon from that deck. Okay, that is the options. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section. That will take you directly to your pile and your reading. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn to the Astro Matrix Tarot. We're just gonna put the tarot card in the deck here. And let's start here with your Oracle cards. You have the castle. Wow. Okay, beautiful. The castle. Hmm. <laughs> Just heard you're, you're the chosen one to live in luxury. <laughs> the castle. And uh, you have adventures. Wow. <laughs> they go together very good also, you know, this green. You have seasons. Hmm. Seasons. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm just getting one message. You know what? Let's continue with the cards first and then I'm going to tell you the message. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Hmm. And seeker of truth. You can feel the hidden truth behind your circumstances. Hmm. You are the chosen one. You know with castle seasons makes me think of change. Adventure makes me also think kind of like something unexpected. Seeker of truth, hidden truth also makes me feel like hidden truth. Also makes me feel like something unexpected. You know, because you know the castle here, <laughs> like what I heard is kind of like that you are the chosen one and to inherit or buy a very specific house like uh, there is <laughs> there is a place somewhere in the world it can even be a piece of land but there is a place somewhere in the world with a house with a land that is kind of divinely uh, what is it called? It has it has your name written all over it. Like so, I don't know. Some of you are gonna inherit this place. Other of you are somehow gonna be guided to get there. I don't know when this is happening, but you're gonna remember this reading, and because it's gonna be so damn clear to you that this house that you're getting, this place where you're living. It's not, it is like, it's gonna be the perfect, perfect place for you. It's kind of, it's gonna be your castle. It is gonna feel like, yeah, it's gonna be your castle. And look at the pearls here where you, oh yeah, and the square here also makes me think like very safe, you know, being very safe and very protected. Uh, hmm. So you are the chosen one. <laughs> it's like the house chose, choose you, chose you. But it's also like your angels and your spirit team has picked out this place for you. So maybe you're supposed to do something special in this place, create something, heal, work with yourself. Maybe it's a place for you to feel safe and secure. Maybe you're supposed to create a family in this place. Maybe you're supposed to do something else. I don't know, something spiritual. But uh, 
it is for you. I mean, it is for you. It, this is a house. This is a place that nobody else is like. It's it, it's a beautiful place, but it's like somehow <laughs> you are like your vibration is match. You are the key. Nobody else can enter this place. You are literally the key to this place. It is yours. I mean, like every little sand, like corn of sand, what's it called? Every little piece of soil is kind of has your energy in it. So you're very connected to this place. And adventure seasons, like I said, for me, it kind of symbolizes change or I feel like it's change. Let's just read on the back side. We're not going to read it all, but we're going to read this little part over here. Letting go is liberating, but if you continue to resist by hanging on, then you will prolong your grief and stifle your progress. Yeah, but change. I think there's going to be a certain time in your life, pile number one, when there's going to be like a big change here with the seasons, where you're ready, you're just ready, you know, to, to get your house. Get your house or your piece. Some of you could be a piece of land even, you know, that perfect piece of land where you can build your house, you know. And I just see like, I see nature, you know, with adventurous car. You look, the nature here is like insane. So I see nature. I see even wilderness here, you know. This can be anywhere, you know, with the seasons here being winter. And this card looks like the jungle. So this can literally be, and then we have the castle. This can be anywhere, so that is kind of the hidden truth here. There's something hidden here. So, uh, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, you're going to be guided, like very, you're going to be very guided. And it's going to be like you're re rejecting all other places. But when you're standing, when you're at first, first, when you first lay eyes on this place, you're just going to be, you're going to be activated. It's like, it's strange. It's like kind of, you know, when, uh, when we, like, for us that has twin flames, when we meet our twin flame, you know, there's, like, very, very strong activation going on. It's like, vroom, something is, like, recognizing the other person in such a deep and profound way. It's, like, unexplainable. You're going to feel like this, that when you're seeing this house. You're going to have an unexplainable force that is pushing you and pulling you, making you buy this house. You're going to buy it no matter what. You just know that this is your place. And I hear like, you're going to, you're going to own this place until kind of you die. It's going to be your, you're going to like pass it on into generations. It's a very, I mean, it's a castle here. It's a very well, like, I don't know, protected or taking, it's been taken care of. It's like, there's a lot of greens there. And it's like, it's, it's a very, it's a very high vibrational place. So it, it's meant to support you in one way or another. This is where you're going to really feel safe and secure. Mm -hmm. This is your place. I mean, this is your place. You are the chosen one for this place. <laughs> Nobody else is going to get it. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> okay. So Let's do your uh, some <laughs> tarot cards as well. Look at this, the moon just flipped over. So I guess we're gonna use the moon and let's just put these back because there was so many. <laughs> so yeah, the moon, and look at this. <laughs> it almost looks like uh, pieces of a castle, you know, the towers here. So, hmm, and with the water here. So it's like, hmm, what does that tell me? Hmm. It's like a journey, you know, with adventure. It's like a journey for you to get there where you are aligned with this place. Maybe you have to grow up. Maybe you have to go through certain things. Maybe, I don't know what, but it's like, there's, it's very hidden some, somehow. It's like you can't, maybe you don't think you can afford a castle, you know? Because you, maybe you don't even think that the castle can be yours because you're like, no, you have like a vision in your mind, like, oh, I want this type of house or apartment maybe even. It's like, it's your dream place. It can look, it's going to match your energy, you know? <laughs> so whatever you feel matches your energy is going to be that, but the castle version, you know, the luxurious castle version with pearls in the garden <laughs> that's gonna be your version so it could be that you're thinking that how am i ever gonna afford this kind of it kind of feels like this home or this apartment is kind of out of your league this is the hidden thing here is that somehow 
this is gonna it's gonna be managed by the universe so you can't buy this or inherit this but i think you're yeah it could be buy or inherit but somehow it's like the money is gonna come to you and it's gonna be like it's just gonna stand there one day you know it's just gonna be there one day and it's like you you're not gonna miss this this is gonna be your house i mean yeah it's like impossible for you not to get this house that's how it feels so let's take a couple of more cards here. I think we're just gonna put this. Oh yeah, no, let's just keep it like this. <laughs> you have two of cups. Oh my God, look at that. Signing that contract. <laughs> Signing that contract. Could be that you're gonna live, share it, this house with a soulmate or some kind of divine love or something. Could be that you're doing some business from there, working from that house. I keep saying house could be an apartment as well, but I keep seeing, you know, castle is kind of big. If it's an apartment, it's kind of, it's like, you know, <laughs> I, I just heard like New York, I don't know why, <laughs> like, like a, you know, high up in the building, you know, like one of these expensive apartments, like with the, it's not going to be like a small apartment. It feels like there's it's a lot of space, you know. <laughs> so anyways, it's your castle, you know. I think my home is a castle. It's actually a little cottage. I don't even have hot water or a bathroom here or, or a toilet actually, <laughs> but that's another story. It's an 18th, 18th house century. It's my, it's definitely my castle. So I mean, it can look anyways, that's what I'm saying. Hermit. So at a certain time, it feels like you're gonna go looking for it. At a certain time, yeah, seeker of truth. If I don't know, because I'm getting the truth here is the house, you know, the truth, the truth of your house, the truth of what you're seeking. So at a certain point, you're going to go looking for a new house or a new apartment. And with a hermit here, it feels like you found the treasure that is going to give you this house. <laughs> so you, you are unlocking something inside of you. You're unlocking something you're getting the money in some way. That is also a way of unlocking it. Like you're getting, yeah, you're getting the money and then you go looking, seeker of truth, you go looking for it. It's funny because I feel like the mountain here is kind of just it's behind you. Kind of the mountain feels like that is like your house. <laughs> it's kind of just behind you. So yeah, it's gonna come to you easy. Page of Swords. And your last card here is Five of Cups. <clears throat> For some of you, you're going to move out of the city. Because look at this. This is city here. So it could be that <laughs> you're, you're, this house is a savior. It's not just take. It's not just going to give you everything that you need. It is also taking you away from the past disappointments. For some of you, there's going to be a move here. You're moving away literally literally from the past environment or the past city or the past maybe even country that you're living in you know maybe you're going into the jungle here <laughs> or somewhere where they have seasons you know the four seasons maybe you're gonna come to sweden <laughs> who knows so yeah this is actually what five of cups you know signifies kind of holding on to the past so i feel and page of swords here also makes me feel like you're looking for something page of swords shows that new beginning you know you're finding it you're like ooh, it's gonna be new and exciting it's like you never had a place like this before and it could be like i said that you're moving city you're moving away from your friends and your family maybe and uh, you're moving into a new energy like if you're not moving that far it could be like a new area but you're definitely kind of definitely moving energy you know you never had a house this beautiful i mean you're gonna call it your castle <laughs> that's what i'm feeling here so mm -hmm. okay let's see here if i get something else the moon the castle yeah it's like you know we have a bridge here and i was thinking you know because on the moon card here we have like a stream and there is a, I think that is a wolf and that is a dog and they're howling kind of at the moon. And somehow it feels like they can't cross here. And that was what I was thinking. I was thinking like it's difficult to cross. And then on the last card here, we have a bridge. And with that, it makes me feel like this is kind of, and the, the house is very important for you, you know. Sometimes we can think, yeah, it's just a house. But actually, it's not, you know, we spend, like, all of our time, you know. When we are home, we're in our home. So it's very important. But this is going to give you a very important piece in the puzzle of you 
feeling good emotionally with the moon, I think it's going to give you some deep, deep contentment and really feelings of safety and security. So this is going to heal you emotionally to get this. And I think like kind of, I don't know, but there's something kind of with the money here. I feel like it's going to be not expensive. Like, I don't know why it's not expensive, but even if it is expensive, you're going to afford it. Somehow it feels, it could even be like the place is supporting you. So maybe you're working from home. Maybe you have the space all of a sudden kind of to do your business from home or to expand your business. And that feels like in that way, it's supporting you. You know, this place is just... It is like, I don't know what to say. It's just a wonderful place. <laughs> yeah, it's going to give you so much. And it's like, it's like you're meeting an old friend almost. That's how it feels like, you know? It's like you're a part of each other. So yeah, you're the chosen one. This house or this place or this land cho chose you because the connection you have. And I don't know how you can have a connection kind of with a house or a place, but I kind of, feel, I really feel like that is here actually. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I would have, I, I can imagine hard time moving from here actually so anyway so you're very connected to this place and this this is like a, I feel like this your place is like a mother it's gonna take care of you it's gonna take care of you and anything that you are you're gonna get like a lot of ideas when you are in this place because it's kind of helping you you know it's helping you getting ideas it's helping you grow it's like a nurturing mother that's taking care of you Anything you're planting in the soil is going to give you beautiful flowers, beautiful fruits and herbs and things like this. It's just like, a, I, I mean, I love this place. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Mm. So, pile one, this was your reading. <laughs> yeah, this was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile one, did I say two? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, by the one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile two, and welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the classic tarot. So we're going to put the deck aside and let's start with your oracle cards here. So you are the chosen one. Let's figure out together what that means for you. So we have the vision. Hmm. Division. Ooh, you have freedom. Hmm. You have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Hmm. I feel like you've been being. <laughs> I feel like you've been prepared for something. Pile number two. Um. Yeah, you've been prepared for something. And it, with the practice here, it could have been like a long journey. It could have been like you have to go through like a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles to prepare you. Universe has prepared you for a very specific task this lifetime. Hmm. But you needed to free yourself first with freedom here. It feels like you needed to free yourself first learn something but the practice here you know you know she's wearing uh, her colors of her clothes and the wings here are brown that makes me think like you had to go through some uh, lessons in life you know yeah lessons in life hmm and you have life's little luxuries it's also brown here you know or beige maybe and the last card here is wishful thinking you are learning how to manifest the life that you desire hmm let's just fix the cards a bit make them all fit I think that is good enough so <clears throat> the vision here makes me think that there's definitely you are the chosen one for pursuing some kind of a higher purpose in this life. And like I said, universe has been preparing you for this. You had to practice. And I think the practice for you has been kind of overcoming challenges and obstacles, like I said, in your kind of everyday life. 
and with that because I feel like you need strength I feel like you need compassion tolerance I feel like you needed to like gather like a lot of I mean I feel like you needed to grow you're you you are the chosen one to like I said pursue a very specific task but you needed to grow first to be able to do that so with the vision here it feels like you're channeling something out of you so yeah it's like you have some kind of a talent gift or ability and there is something you're supposed to channel out of that and sh somehow share it into the world we're gonna read the back side of life's little luxuries here look it's like a summer here <laughs> it feels like you go from winter to summer so i definitely feel like you had to go through a lot of things like i said and <clears throat> the back side here says oh the call of duty seems seems endless and oftentimes it is your soul has been wearied and is badly in need of playful respite you are invited to temporarily release yourself from the dreariness of uh, shoulds and musts. Hmm. Yeah, so this makes, just makes tells me, like I said, it's like you have been preparing. For some of you, actually, you needed to even practice that skill. You know, practicing a skill like learning like how to play an instrument or something like that takes a, like, a lot of a practice. And it can even be, you know boring you know having you know playing guitar or something having to play those same you know getting those muscles in the fingers doing the same thing over and over and over again so could be like you've been you that you had to practice a lot and but anything I'm it's of course it feels like this is gonna differ here what you're supposed to do but the main kind of thing here that is similar for all of you is that you have something you are channeling something through your talents gifts and abilities and sharing that with the world in one way or another life's little luxuries makes me feel like you're bringing something into the world that the world didn't even know they needed until you bring it and they're like wow that was something good yeah <laughs> so you're bringing something people didn't even know they wanted or needed wishful thinking here makes me also think you're learning how to manifest the life that you desire. I think you're the chosen one to learn your manifestation powers and to manifest. I feel like you're some kind of like inspirational figure or person. You're meant to inspire people by being very you, doing one very specific thing like it, there is like some like if they see you they're like if somebody sees you it's like yeah pile two they do this it's like you have a thing that you're doing or something that you're putting out into the world you have like a role to play you have a role to play some somehow you know some some people are teachers and doctors and you know painters and artists so you have like a thing that is meant for you that you are doing very very well and it's it's like it's a uh, uh, has been taking you it has been a journey it is it has been or it depends on where you are it has been or is a journey for you to get there is what i'm feeling hmm but there is a big vision for you there is a very big vision for you on how you are supposed to reach out into the world with this thing that is meant to be channeled out of you whatever that thing is so hmm and freedom it, may, it feels like this kind of goes <clears throat> it goes kind of hand in hand here because i really feel like you are going through some kind of transformation with yourself first i feel like freedom feels like you're you there is like the way universe is preparing you is that you have to free yourself from maybe limited beliefs with wishful thinking, some limited beliefs, some kind of borders, some kind of maybe comfort zone that you have put yourself in. And I also feel there is certain life lessons that you need to go through to mature and to grow into this inspirational person that is channeling something beautiful into the world. Yeah, I got it right now. <laughs> Hmm. I also feel 
that you have a very, very, very specific journey this lifetime. Do you are one of these persons that could write a book, you know, in the end of your, maybe you're going to write a book about the journey in itself. You have like a lot of stories to share. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to be like an old woman or a man that has like a lot of stories to share about the journey that you did. Hmm. And you're meant to live a good life. You are meant, but I, I really feel like whatever this gift, talent, or ability that you have is very, uh, it is like, they, they, it feels like the universe is watching you. They are watching you and guiding you because I think it's something important that you're meant to do with this. Somehow it has an important piece kind of in the big puzzle. Hmm. Hmm. Life's little luxuries. Yeah. It's like, like I said, bringing something into the world that the world didn't even need know that they needed and for you to be able to to channel this you have to be very like open you know freedom you have to be very open in your energy you know so with that said it's like like i said i keep saying the same things here but <laughs> so but like i said there is blockages and things you had to get rid of so it feels like you've gone through like a pretty some of you a pretty tough journey or you're going to a pretty tough journey. There are preparing you. So this is going to differ, of course, what it is here. Some of you are going to need strength, courage, compassion, tolerance, just awareness, stillness. I don't know what you need, but you're, whatever challenges you're going through, they are preparing you for this final task here to be this clear channel of whatever this is that you're meant to give to the world your contribution to humankind it feels like <laughs> to mother earth your contribution it's a big contribution that you're doing here. there's a big vision here you know big vision here hmm. so this is not it feels like it's not so much about you it's like you as a person it's not so much about you so the thing it feels like getting you out of the way so you can become the clear channel like even if you've been like practicing because he's playing the flute here even if you've been practicing piano or guitar you've been playing for a very very long time it's like still getting you out of the way so the flow of music can come from a higher place through you and all those all the music that you're sharing is kind of healing people, awakening people. Do you get what I mean? Getting you out of the way is the thing here. And uh, yeah, whatever we do, if we get out of the way, you know, the, the person, the ego, then we can channel this higher energy into whatever we're doing. It doesn't matter what we're doing. It just becomes more pure. You know, this is what all artists and I know genius people have done in the past <clears throat> what they do and, and still you know every day you know this is where it comes from all beautiful things comes when we get out of the way and we kind of step into some kind of higher energy that is working through us so uh, once again i feel like I, I keep feeling like a big blockage so there's definitely going to be one big blockage kind of in the way i feel it kind of like around my head crown chakra third eye yeah, really around my head it's like i can't really see so it could be that you don't really see or understand the importance your skill has so maybe you really are you know you're good in doing something but you maybe you don't understand how you're supposed to use it yeah because <laughs> that's the thing getting out of the way is just going to come through you you know you're just going to get that spark of inspiration one day and you're just gonna be like whoa i'm gonna do this and then you're gonna lock yourself in your room or whatever you're doing and you're writing or painting or whatever creating you know so this is kind of how it comes when we get out of the way it just comes to us so it feels like they're waiting here it feels like the universe is preparing you and waiting for you to be ready so it can come through you and we have page of pentacles yeah you it makes me think <clears throat> Once again, that you're meant to bring something out into the world. Page of Pentacles, <laughs> justice. Yeah, the, the cards are just uh, confirming here. So the justice card tells me here, like I said, that you have to balance some things up first. And look at her. Remember that I said, I feel like kind of in the third eye crown chakra. Look at this uh, thing over her eyes here. So yeah, it's like you can't see where you can't maybe you don't understand that the, the challenges that you're going through is the universe is preparing you they are preparing you to step up into that life purpose into 
this uh, mission that you have this lifetime to use your gift here to, like I said, channel something into the world. Three of Cups shows that collaboration that you have. There is a this is, there is like a, I keep getting, it's like a contract that you signed on, you know, your soul kind of signed on a contract <laughs> with the universe, you know. <clears throat> so this shows kind of the the commitment that you did here. Yeah, it's your soul's commitment to do this. And you have the chariot and you have the knight of swords. Yeah, you know what? The chariot and the knight of swords. So chariot is a lot about... Uh, ambition, motivation, and focus, and the Knight of Swords is the same, you know? So what I feel here is like, when you are ready, when you are ready, it's gonna go pretty quickly, you know? When you are ready, it's just gonna be a super fast forward movement, clarity. It is like, you know, you're gonna even be like, why didn't I, how, where did this come from? All of a sudden you're just like, f f there is a flow. There is just a flow in what you're creating. It's just happening, you know. You're just creating and creating and creating. You're just getting ideas after ideas and everything just comes so easy to you because the blockage is out of the way. So this is definitely... So now when I'm talking, I feel like many of you are at this kind of big blockage that is in the third eye and the crown chakra. It's like you're like disconnected kind of. The vision is also about the third, um, third eye and the crown chakra. It's like you're disconnected with the channel of the flow of creation. <laughs> you, you have a specific channel because like I said, it's like you are meant to channel something very specific. So as soon as this blockage is gone, look at this, I didn't even see that. There is even like a, a triangle here on top showing like the energy kind of coming down like this. So yeah, you're gonna be channeling something for sure here. And it's gonna give you a lot of joy. It's gonna change your whole life, pile number two. It's gonna change your whole life. And I mean, I know, I just keep feeling, I know you needed to go through some really tough things and I'm sorry for that. I just feel like I want to say that because I think you went through some things that was very difficult for you to break through because I think in this lifetime you needed to break through a lot of things to be able to be such a pure channel. So yeah, I keep getting like, whoo, it's been like a like a like a big like a very difficult journey for you. And anyways, I feel like kind of the journey is coming to its end and I keep feeling like head crown chakra. So there's something releasing there and you're finally when it finally releases, whoo, you're going to be on your way. I mean, the chariot, you you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just gonna come through you, you know? It's like one day it just says bloop and the blockage is gone and you wake up in the morning, you're like, I'm gonna write a book about this. Yeah, this is such a brilliant idea. Why didn't I ever think about this? Or I'm gonna make a, uh, whatever you're making actually, you know, whatever you're making, you're just gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it this way. And then you're just gonna be so inspired and you know, you're gonna have so much energy and motivation here with the Chariot and the Knight of Swords. And you're just gonna, I mean, a book that would take you maybe two years to write, you're gonna write kind of in two weeks. That's how it feels, because you're gonna be so connected with this higher energy, like I said, that is helping you. So it's just gonna be, and you're gonna be so pure, you know, in your channel. So you're just gonna be, blah, 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 you're doing it, you know, <laughs> and re recreating your whole life. And, Life's little luxuries also makes me feel like you're gonna get like a wishful thinking. You're gonna get a lot of things that you di you didn't expect it. You didn't expect it that you're gonna that you had this mission. Maybe you didn't expect that something so beautiful could come from you. You know what I'm thinking of? <clears throat> I don't know if you ever heard about the channeled spirit, very spiritual, very popular, known, well known actually books. You know the the Course of Miracles, and what's it called? Uh, how can I not remember that? Oh, let's forget about it. So anyways, the, the course in, yeah, uh, Conversations with God. Yeah, that was the one with Neil Donald Walsh. Yeah, so these are two books channeled that are super, super well known. I love Conversations with God, can definitely recommend that. Um, the Course in Miracles is a very difficult book. It's not for everyone, it's very heavy. But you know, these are two people who channeled 
something very, very profound, very, very high spiritual, very high vibrational. And it's, for them, it just came, you know, just came out of nowhere. They had no, and it changed their life. They're probably rich, both of them, because of this, you know, rich and known and, you know, uh, also spiritually awakened at some kind of extent. They had no idea. Even, you know, Abraham Hicks, Esther and Jerry Hicks, Esther had no idea, you know, that these teachings uh, should come out of her asking it's given you know the law of attraction and manifestation it comes from her it was her country this is the contribution that i'm talking about they've made a contribution to the world by channeling something that didn't come from them they're not doing it there's something coming through their channel so you have something like this you have something like this and you're being prepared for being able to to get this and it's going to change your life completely it is going to change your life completely you're going to get more than you ever could wish for with wishful thinking you know 63 here makes me think that some of you if you're old i know i have viewers in all kinds of ages so if you're older don't think that this could not happen to you could could happen at any time this could happen at any time it's like, and I feel like the blockage third eye crown chakra, as soon as that is gone, it's just going to be whoop, it's just going to come. You're not going to be able to stop yourself. You're just like, like they did when they were channeling these books. It was like, they couldn't stop themselves. It's just like the flow just came out of them, you know, even Eckhart Tolle, you know, the, the, the power of now, uh, he... Same for him. It's not him doing it. It's, he's channeling it. Like all the good things on earth comes from a purer place. All the beautiful things comes from a higher place. And we're just like, it comes through us. That consciousness comes through us. So you have something like this. And like I said, it's going to change your life. It's going to give you freedom. It's going to give you a lot of freedom. And uh, a lot of things that you didn't expect it. But I think, <laughs> I think it's going to be one hell of a journey when it finally happens. You know, it's going to go very quickly very quickly very fast and it's like you're gonna know what you're doing and it's like nobody can stop you from doing this there is not a single thought of not be like you're not it's like uh you're not gonna doubt this even one little bit like you know that this thing that's coming through you know what you're creating when you're creating this you're going to know in the moment that you're creating it that this is something amazing that you're creating. This is something that is, you're, you're, I think you're going to understand somehow that this is going to be some lead you to some kind of a breakthrough. You're going to understand that this is something profound that is coming through you. But I think you, 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 you understand that it's something that you're doing something that is very good. You're going to feel proud over it. You're going to feel excited over it. But you're not going to understand completely how in what a magnitude it's going to change your life. It's going to change you, change your life completely, completely change your life. It's going to give you like a lot of recognition, success, forward movement, expansion. Yeah. <laughs> and the universe is just like waiting. I feel like for some of you, this is happening now or soon. And uh, if you're still in, for some of you, if you're still like being very, very challenged, Hold on to this carrot. I mean, it's coming. <laughs> Hold on to this carrot. There's a reason why you're being so tested. There is a reason. You're not being punished by the universe. You're, you know, what is the, the quote? You know, God tests, uh, tests his, his strongest soldiers or something like that. So you're one specific, you're, very, you're one very strong soul. And you're being tested because you can handle it. Because to push you into your highest potential in one way or another and to clear out a lot of heavy things that you've been carrying you know to help you free yourself that's why you're being tested to help you heal and free yourself also mm -hmm. okay pile two this was your reading if you like my readings please subscribe to my channel hit that like button if you feel like sharing your story please feel free to do so in the commentary section either way pile two i wish you all the best and i'll see you next time goodbye Hello, pile tree, and welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to Tarot of the Owls. Let's put the card, or the deck over there, and let's start with your Oracle card. So you are the chosen one. Let's see what that means for you. And you got the eternal child. Hmm. It looks like you're keeping something here, holding something. Safe keeping something. Keeping something safe. Hmm. You got truth. 
Wow. <laughs> okay, pile number three. I know, I feel like I'm gonna love this reading. <laughs> I feel it's like the most beautiful energy coming through here. You got helpers with some horses here. You got oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. And the last card here is approval. Choose to approve of yourself and others will th too. So I'm getting a clear message here. Pile number three. First of all, pile number three, I want to say that you have a beautiful energy. <laughs> I think like the eternal child feels like your connection with kind of something higher. I think you're naturally very spiritual. I think you've been very spiritual since you were a child, very connected, very, very sensitive, probably a strong, strongly, a strong empath. Yeah, picking up on energies and feelings and thoughts. I think you're a deep thinker probably. And I think, I think you're very, very, very spiritual. And uh, you have a very strong connection with the truth. You have a high awareness and you have, you are very, it's very easy for you to see through illusions. And uh, uh, yeah, you just see the world in a very aware way, a very awakened way. I think you were born spiritually awakened, actually. <laughs> you oh, you've always been very awakened. So you are the chosen one for what? You're carrying, you're, you're a carrier of spiritual truth. That is what I'm feeling here with the Oracle cards shows that you are meant to uh, share, that you're meant to share what is true, what is true to other people. You're, you're meant, you are, you are chosen to help them, to guide them, to help them approve of themselves, to help them understand themselves. You're meant to share, share truth and love. Yeah, truth and love and guidance. So it's a very, very clear message here. The, tr the tree here and the truth here makes me really feel like you've been carrying this like truth for f forever. You know, the tree of life. I don't know. It just makes me feel like your soul. It's like your soul. It's not you as a person in this lifetime that is chosen in any way. Your soul is one of the chosen ones that are meant to carry a very high spiritual energy in some way and with that use that to like I said to pile three you would more all mostly <laughs> be very drawn to some kind of a spiritual work it could be anything it could be healing but the oracle cards yeah you know anything but I think kind of yeah, it could be anything spiritual, but you're going to be very in inclined to be drawn to the spiritual. You're going to feel very home in anything spiritual. This is kind of where you are at home because, because your soul is a highly connected and very evolved, a very evolved spiritual soul that you have. And the tree here also makes me think that you're old. Look at that. It's actually a face here. Never saw that. <laughs> I just looked at it and I saw the face here. So the tree also makes me think of ancestors. So it feels like you're being overseen and guided, you know, by a lot of ancestors, a lot of you you have like you have a lot of connections. <laughs> Sounds strange. You have a lot of spiritual connections. So pile tree wouldn't surprise me like if you are Claire, audience, Claire, whatever all this Claire's are, Claire hearing, Claire seeing, Claire knowing, uh, I don't remember the names, Claire sentence. Anyway, so you have a lot of communication, I think, with the spirits. So you have a very big spirit, t um, spirit guide team, like, and like, not like teams and teams. It's like you have you're very like you're very connected you're very spiritually connected yeah you're like popular you know in the spiritual realms you know everybody that's how it feels like and the eternal child it shows the connection you know the eternal child it shows that you're carrying the seed of truth within you you know it's always there within you and also we have a sun here you know you see that holding that sun it shows the power that you have so you know a lot of power to use your sensitivity, which is your connection to the source, to use that powerfully help people 
guide people, show people the right way of living. How do we live in a good way? How do we live in a way that we are aligned with the flow of the universe? Uh, when we are aligned with the flow of the universe, that is when we're living a good life, you know? A compassionate life, a balanced life, a harmonious life, where we can manifest good things into our life. So I think you are a you are a teacher of truth. Yeah, you're a teacher of truth. Even if you don't call yourself a teacher or not, you know, you're carrying the flame. You're carrying the flame of truth within you. And helpers here, yeah, it shows us that you're not alone. You have so, you're, you're a whole team, you know. You are, you are one of the spirits, the angels, the gods, the goddesses, the whatever you believe in. You are one of them. You are one of them. It's just you are here on earth and they are on other realms. But you are all connected and helping, you know? You're all helping to do this mission here. So you have a mission here. This is your big mission, pile number three, to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I want to hug your inner child because I feel you have a beautiful inner child. Your energy is so pure, pile number three. So, 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 so pure. Very pure energy here. And uh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Your whole, your, your, you, you have a very high vibration. Mm. So let's see. That oh yeah, let's do this, and I think this one as well. Okay, let's look at some tarot cards here. And you have three of swords. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking, yeah, probably you had a hard childhood. I heard that when I was feeling like I wanted to hug your child. And then you got the three of swords. Yeah, look at the pain. Yeah, look at this heart here. So pain. Pain. You have a big heart. You have such a big heart. And it has been painful for you to be in such a harsh environment. Like, <laughs> like you know, the connection with other people here. And I think you had to endure a lot of pain. The hermit. You're an introvert, I think. <laughs> Pile number three. And naturally, you know, because you have such a strong connection, because you have such a big sensitivity, could even be that you're thinking there's something wrong being so sensitive as you are, because maybe you can see that you're not able to do things that other people can do, because you need to kind of withdraw, you need to recharge, you need to reconnect, you know? But that is just showing you you are this way you know because you are a very specific soul because you are your your energies are not you're very evolved you know as a soul and you're a very big soul and you are you don't have this earthly vibrations you know you're not you're you have you have been here on earth maybe a long time but you have outgrown earth i think for some of you I'm getting this for some of you. You are not that known to to being here in those lower vibrations. So for you, it's really like difficult. I think very difficult. For some other of you, I think you are. You've been here. You've been in the journey here. You had many lifetimes, but you have kind of. You still have a very very high vibration, and you're outgrown Earth. So th this it's just making you. Oh, how was? Uh, let's see if I can find the words here. You just have a very high sensitivity. That is not, that is, you know, if you were on other realms or things, that would, you would be like really perfect. But here it just becomes, the contrast here just becomes like a little bit harsh, you know, at times. So I think you, you, you went through some pain because of this. And uh, would it surprise me? I just want to say this. If some of you are carrying some difficult generational karma, I just got that as well. Yeah, helping, helping, helper. You're all about helping. You mean, it really like could be very like angelic souls in pile number three. But yeah, helping. You're all about helping. Your soul is all about helping. You're a server of the light. You're a server of truth. Mm, very connected. Four of Wands. You have Ten of Cups. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. Ah, you got the moon. Yeah, look at that. So... Moon was, you know, uh, the card that you could choose from. So, moon, yeah, emotions. Uh, whew, your emotions is the way out. So, for you to conquer your emotions is going to be like a thing also in this. Uh, 
there is like one part, like I said, with the Three of Swords here in the Moon, there is one part where you are going through some, some transformation here. And I think it could have with the eternal child, something like pain from your childhood that is connected to the sensitivity and, and probably the, the generational karma that you choose to deal, help to deal with, to free that uh, ancestral or the lineage from some heavy things here. And uh, it could also be, of course, that you also have karmic connections with certain people from your childhood. So that I feel is like the difficult part in the story. And going through all this, transforming all this, the more you transform it, the more you are connected to your truth because you have always had that big flame, you know, in your soul. So it's just like a bit overshadowed by the heavy burdens that you choose to carry this life. So, but four of ones and 10 of cups here, it makes me really feel you're, you're, you're the chosen one. You're meant to overcome your own challenges, your soul's own challenges, your own karma, and grow into this guidance, this guide, this, this guide that you're meant to be. You're meant to be some kind of helper or a guide in some way. So you're growing into that. And I think it's going to be a big part of your life is going to be serving other people with your loving kindness, with your compassion and with truth and your guidance in some way. And the four of ones and ten of cups really shows you mean know, celebration and success. I mean, like a lot of celebration and success. Now look at these two cards. Doesn't they look so dark here? And then you go into the lightness, the brightness here. So your life is definitely having two faces. Like when one face is the child here, the pain here, the childhood, a lot of pain, and the hermit being introvert, being scared maybe of being out there in the world, and. Uh, yeah, having to deal with a lot of things alone, not being able to share your emotions, maybe not understanding your emotions. You're so sensitive, you're picking up on everything, feeling overwhelmed at times, just like, whoa, why, like a lot, being lost. Could be that you lo lost your path, you know, for a while. And, but yeah, you're meant to grow a lot. You're meant to understand your sensitivity. You're meant to understand the, generational karma, your childhood, the karmic connections with your parents and siblings. You're meant to rise above that. You have a very strong truth. I think for you, Patri, it's not a problem to do this. You're so, so, so spiritually awakened. I mean, and, and the, the, the contradiction here is also because you are so sensitive and spiritual awakening, awakened, also this pain that you had to go through is gonna hurt, is, is, is gonna hurt you deeper than other people because you're so open, your heart is so open. It's just gonna pierce deeper into your heart. But remember, I just want to say, you're also, your power, you also have a power stronger than other people to do this. <laughs> so that also means like, yes, it's going to pierce deeper inside of you, but you, it, you're also going to be able to overcome it in a much more powerful way, much more grand way than anybody else could. You're coming out, you know, with the four of ones and ten of cups, you're not just overcoming it. You're also overcoming it in such a way that you're creating a wonderful life for yourself you're fully stepping out into the light here and i like that we have the moon here also showing like kind of a darker card and it's not a darker card but like the colors if you see the colors here it's just like a bit this is like shining light lighter colors and this is dark you're also showing that that you are connected you you have balanced your emotions you understand the darker sides of life and you have balanced them. There's no fear left in you. You're meant to overcome fear. And I think pile number three, I think you're meant to be, some of you are really meant to be some kind of a spirit, strong spiritual teacher, guide. Uh, I want to say guru. So yeah, maybe there are some gurus out there or some way helping healer, maybe helping leading people. And uh, this is your life mission. So you are the chosen one. This is your whole life is about this. It's going to be your whole life from the beginning to the end. And I think for you, boy, have you been on a journey. Yeah, I just feel like it's been a journey from the beginning to the end. And I feel like there is a longing inside of you. Strong spiritual longing inside of you. Even when you didn't know what you were longing for. Like that it was kind of that spiritual connection. Getting back that spiritual connection. 
you know that you have getting back the getting back the connection with yourself you know the essence of who you are you i think you had a longing from childhood it could even be that you didn't know what you were longing after but this is the the you know you've been drawn to the light you are just light i mean you are you are just light and awareness so yeah it's going to be natural for you to to be drawn to this like i said many angelic souls here so you are one amazing so pile number three with such a big mission and i feel like big i felt like you carried such a and i feel like i want to cry because i recognize this in myself you had to carry such a big burden this lifetime i mean you went through some difficulties i mean some real real darkness and with the hermit here makes me think many people don't even know the challenges and the pain that you had to endure and that you overcame or are overcoming many people has no idea of the pain so yeah i i want to say did i see this and I understand and I wish you all the best <laughs> yeah and I wanted to remind you you have the power you have the connection you have the spirit team and the guides you of anyone have really really everything going for you to, to completely heal and change and move your life into the four of wands into celebration into the ten of cups into emotional contentment harmony happiness joy you know <laughs> so yeah safety security everything that you can imagine approving yourself loving yourself self-love getting back into self-love you are love you know Sometimes it's like, yeah, I'm going to love myself. I have to love myself. But you are love. You know, there's not one thing inside of you that's not love. So it's like even saying like, I have to love myself somehow is not the complete truth. But you, because you are love. How are you going to love yourself if you are love? Like love is flowing through your veins. It's like in every little part of your physical and energe energetic body, there is just love. So yeah, getting that back, getting, getting back being love. And then I think you are such a sweet, wonderful, compassionate soul. So you are going to, you have this, naturally you're gonna be you're gonna have this naturally inclination this natural feeling of wanting to help people wanting to serve people wanting to guide wanting to heal wanting to somehow it's just gonna come out of you you know you're you're just like that you know it's just that you want you said it's in your nature it's in your nature and i think that's beautiful i think that's so 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 beautiful pile number three mm -hmm. So, carrier of light and love. This was your reading. If you like my reading, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story in the commentary section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile three. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.